At six, a contractor fired from the job after showing up with a Confederate flag on his truck. And tonight, the homeowner's response is making headlines. Take a look at this. Hi. You know what? I do apologize. I know you could come from a very long way, but we're going to use someone else. She's, up, she's upset with the flag. No, I'm beyond upset with the flag. No, you don't need to take it out. You continue to believe what you need to believe, sir. But no, I cannot pay you for your services. As you can see, that was a contractor that showed up with a Confederate flag waving on the back of his truck. Uh, we're going to go in depth with this now and show how all of this unfolded. CBS 46 political analyst uh, Rashad Ritchie is here. It really depends on how a person views the rebel flag. That's the root of this. You don't think so? No. Okay. Here's why. When you're in business, your number one obligation is to your actual consumer or customer. That is the first dynamic of a proper business. If you may have an affinity to the rebel flag, that's fine. You are well within your legal right to wave that rebel flag. The homeowner was well within her legal right to say no to a contractor. But think about this in a business context. Mm -hmm. It may not be a good idea business-wise because of how others view that flag and the sensitivities connected with it. Remember, the Confederate Army fought for states' right. The main state's right they fought for was the right for the enterprise of slavery to remain legal in those states. Okay, I'm gonna be the devil's advocate here. Some people view that as history, not so much as, um, as a personal stake in that. How is this any different from someone who comes maybe religious, maybe Muslim, have on the, 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 the clothing that they wear representing their religion and a person responded the same way wouldn't that be considered discrimination? Well, it is discrimination, but there are legal forms of discrimination and illegal forms of discrimination. Uh, the Confederate flag does represent a segment of American history. If you decide to say, I will not do business with someone because of this rebel flag, that is a legal discrimination stance. Here's why. The people who wave the rebel flag are not part of a protected class. If you are of a particular faith and somebody discriminates you based on your religion, well, constitutionally, your religion is protected and you will would be in illegal discrimination at that point. We posted this on our CBS 46 uh, Facebook page. Got a lot of response from yes. it. Uh, a lot of uh, viewers were particularly uh, fond of the way this family in Atlanta responded to this. Very classy. Yes. Um, they had every right to uh, turn away this customer, this uh, contractor, as the contractor really had every right to wave the flag if he wanted to. Absolutely. Both are within their legal rights. But I will say this. This is a teachable moment. If you are uh, an individual who believes in the rebel flag, there may be some families who decide not to hire you. Yeah, and that's business. That's business. It, it all depends on if you want to make money or not. All right, well, come, well, he did say, though, he would take the flag down, so he wanted the money he more than he the wanted money. the flag up. That's Coming right. up tonight at 11, we're going to hear from that Atlanta family uh, at the center of this video. We are sitting down one-on-one -on -one with the homeowners. That's coming up tonight at 11 on CBS 46.